Hi there, my name is James Uren and I'm the Technical Director at Mosis and in this video we're going to look at VP Pro VFX for recording of tracking data and exporting that data for post-production. So we're running VP Pro VFX in pre-Kia mode here as you can see and uh, that means that the engine is generating fill and key signals for the Ultimat and the Ultimat is doing the compositing. So the fill signal is our CG background we can see that here. Um, our garbage mat is this signal. This is because we're, uh, we're blocking our subject at the moment with this foreground uh, locker. And there's my foreground image that we're going to be compositing. So I'm just going to talk through a few of the project settings I'm using here in this mode. First of all, as you can see, we're in pre-Kia mode and I've enabled time code here as well so that we can capture the time code from the camera. That's really important because we want to use that time code to synchronize any recordings we make in Unreal uh, or any renders that we do later with the recordings we're doing in our uh, SDI recorders and the recordings that are happening in the main camera. There's a couple of additional settings for this mode in the onset VFX section here. Um, I'm going to enable has recorder and put the IP addresses of the three SDI recorders behind me uh, into uh, these fields here and those will automatically connect when I launch Unreal. And then I'm going to select my camera model here. Uh, we support ARRI as long as it's one of the later models of ARRI that has the CAP protocol, RED cameras and in our studio right now we have a Sony Venice. And I'm going to put the IP address of the, the Venice camera in there as well. Then to connect to the camera I just click connect and it pulls all of the metadata, this is live, uh, from the camera. We can't change these settings from here. This is about capturing the information for post-production. You can see that the time code now that the engine is running also clearly matches the time code that's actually on the camera currently. So one last thing to do, which is to tell Unreal what it is we want to record. So we put a handy button here at the top of the take recorder panel and if I click that, it will load all the correct properties for the Moses camera into the recorder ready to record. If I have multiple cameras in the scene, it will bring in multiple cameras here as well. Okay, I think we're ready to record a take. So I'm going to put the engine into play to get the best performance. And you can see I'm, I'm now compositing live. And when the camera goes into record, Unreal will automatically go into record as well. It'll also fire record on my three SDI recorders that I've connected through VP Pro. Okay, action. So as you can see, Unreal has automatically gone into record and now it's recording the tracking data from the Moses camera. And cut. We can continue like this, recording more and more takes uh, through the day. But let's have a look at what we recorded. So we can open the Moses take log, click up here and open take log. So the take log will show you all the takes you've recorded during the day and allow you to um, find them in the content browser, open them up, um, instantly render them and export them as an FBX file. You can also click this handy export all button, which will export all of your takes to this folder at the end of the day. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to click export all. So let's have a look at what that created. Mine are sent to go to C Unreal Takes. You can see it's created a folder here. Um, for the scene and here is the take. So we have two files for every single recording. We've got an FBX file. Now this will contain the motion of the camera uh, as an animation that can be brought into applications like Nuke and Maya. And a sidecar metadata file. Um, this is a very comprehensive file that tells you all about the Unreal scene. Um, you can see it has information about the lens, the star tracker, um, it has information about the stage, that's the origin in your scene. And the recorder file names, uh, these are the, the exact names that are, have been recorded on the SDI recorders that we had connected. And the camera settings data, um, you can see all of this information coming from the Sony Venice. So recording the data in this way opens up a lot of opportunities in post-production. Not only can we create a really nice real-time HD previs for the cast and crew using VP Pro VFX, but we can also make that data available in post-production. 
You can also use these recordings to hook up our near-time rendering system, which is a deferred Unreal render that allows you to render out much higher quality and higher resolution from Unreal without the limitations of real-time. This can give you movie files for editorial or multi-layered linear EXRs for compositing later. If you have any questions about what you've seen, please feel free to contact support at mosis.com. Thanks.